Have you heard the news? Entor 125 now generates 10 horses and has become the most powerful 125cc scooter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rev Explorers. I am Abhinav Bhatnagar and here we have the Entorque 125 Race XP. Special thanks to Shellar TVS Cothroot for providing us this scooter for the review. And if you are looking for TVS product, you can visit their dealership for the best offers in Pune. And don't worry because they are keeping your safety in mind and following all the guidelines issued by the government. If you are new to Rev Explorers, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you are never missing any update from us. We are also present on Instagram so if you have any doubts or any queries, you can get in touch with us over there. And definitely follow our page because we post stories about the updates. Now let's begin with the ride review of the Entorque 125 Race XP. So this new 2021 Race XP edition gets to see a paint scheme update. So you have red alloy wheels now and the paint scheme has also changed to matte silver and red which looks really sporty and then you get to see updated vinyls. So completely the scooter is looking even more sportier than the race edition. Other than that there are no cosmetic changes to the scooter. There is only one feature update that TVS has incorporated. So the self start switch is now doubled up for the mode switch as well as voice assist. So now in the Ntorque 125 Race XP, you even get voice assist. Now if you are looking for a walk around review, we have already done it. We have done it for the Race Edition as well as Super Squad Edition. The link will be right over here. You can go ahead and check it out. And if you are here for this Race XP Edition, which generates 10 PS of power, then stay tuned because we are going to take it on a ride. And before you go on a ride, don't forget to wear your helmet and follow all road safety rules. The good news is, when it comes to comfort, the Entorque still feels the same. It gives you slightly sporty stance with wide handlebar and a big footboard, which is very accommodating. I think even if you are 6 feet, you can easily ride the scooter. The seat is wide enough for the rider as well as the pillion, proving to be good for city as well as weekend getaway. The engine is still the same, 125cc 3-valve motor. But with the changes in gas flow dynamics and combustion, TVS has managed to squeeze out almost an extra horsepower over the N-Torque Race Edition. There is also 0.3 Nm torque which is extra on this one. But the question is, is it really quick? And the answer is yes. It feels more powerful and quick than the Race Edition. In fact, with its two riding modes, it becomes even more fun to ride. It has good performance figures in its street mode and the race mode is way better. Although you have to compromise with the fuel efficiency, the Race XP will deliver roughly 55 kmpl on the highway and takes a hit when it comes to the riding in cities because it just manages to cross 45 kmpl and this is when we tested it in the street mode which I feel is slightly low for city use scooter but on the contrary you are getting better power. In fact, the Entorque Race XP Edition acceleration figures are almost equivalent to the Aether 450X and the Aprilia SR160. The race mode is hungry for your throttle inputs and the street mode is slightly dialed down. But both of them maintain the refinement throughout. The brakes are also very good, especially the front disc. It offers good bite and feedback. The rear one also works well, it has good stopping power and with that the thick tire provides superior grip. The suspensions for N-Torque are apt. They are slightly on a softer side and irons out the bumps really well. The ride quality is good thanks to the 12 inch wheels on both the ends. In fact, the stability is also good at high speeds and in the corners. The scooter is very agile and the handling characteristics are great, making it a perfect performance scooter which is good for city use. I like the way how TVS keeps on adding features to its products. The Bluetooth connectivity was already there and now you also get voice assist. 
which works really well when you connect a wired or a wireless headset. TVS has smartly integrated it in the self start button. So once you start the scooter and press hold the button for 2 seconds, you activate voice assist, which is very cool feature and takes care of almost everything you might require while riding, eliminating the need of taking out your mobile phone from your pocket again and again. With that, you can't forget the fact that this is the most powerful scooter in the 125cc segment. Our ride review of the N-Torque 125 Race Expedition has come to an end and it is definitely a powerful scooter now, powerful than any other 125cc scooter available in India as well as the exhaust node is awesome. So if you like this scooter, you can get it too and it is just 4000 rupees expensive than the Race Edition and roughly 10,000 rupees expensive than the standard edition. So you have to pay 83,000 ex showroom daily for this race XP edition. I hope this video was helpful for you. Do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss out great content from us. You can definitely share this video with your family and friends whosoever is planning to buy a 125cc scooter because this one is great with all the connectivity and the features. And we are also available on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The handle will be right over here. So if you have any doubts or any queries, you can get in touch with us or you can leave it in the comment section below. We'll try to respond to you as soon as possible. We'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, stay home, stay safe and ride safe. Bye-bye.